Hello, YouTube. Hey there, YouTube. We are back. It's been... Feels like it's been a while. It's been two weeks. Really? Yeah. But that's okay. Badass. Um, today I'm smoking my brand new Dagner Dublin. For some reason, nice. these are the only Dublins, or only pipes that we have left from <clears throat> the Dagner Pipes Series 1. And I don't know why they're the only ones left. So I bought one myself. <laughs> so I got the black one. That We have one more brown one, one more black one left. And then that's it for Series 1. Yep. Um, and in it, I am smoking some Escudo. And sound effects. Thank you. <laughs> Which is very, very good. And the pipe smokes great. Although I think I might be going out because I'm talking too much. What are you smoking? Um, I have some Rattray Bagpiper's Dream. I left my jar inside, but trust me on it. Tasty little, uh, I don't even know what the blend is, but it's uh, got some cognac in there. It's yummy. It's just an English with cognac on it, isn't it? A Scottish. Scottish, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and this is in my... Uh, one of the heart original heart and pine. Actually, I think this is the original it is. heart and pine Arbutus poker. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, little nose warmer okay. poker. I've also actually should have brought it. I've also got a little sheath that I stick it in. That's like a belt sheath, so I can carry it around the campsite. It's good cool. to talk about it. You should see it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, we are, I believe, at three hundred and twenty-seven subscribers. So first of all, thank you everyone for subscribing. Uh, if you're not subscribed to us and you're watching this, subscribe. Um, the the response and everything has been overwhelming and encouraging, and it's made just being online with YouTube uh, a blast. Mm -hmm. um, I love interacting with everybody and uh, watching everyone's videos. Um, starting to get I, I was a little bit behind on everything, so I was starting to get caught <laughs> up. Um, but uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment. Uh, let us know. If there's anything that you want to see that we haven't covered already, we've got uh, ideas for videos coming up. Um, but generally speaking, the whole YouTube uh, experience has been awesome. And uh, thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been really fun. And uh, I think the response, I didn't, don't really know what I was expecting, but I think mm -hmm. it's definitely been more than whatever that was. It's been, it's been awesome. Yeah, we really don't have expectations for YouTube. This is just a an avenue to for us to, to share and interact with you guys and um and that's exactly what we're doing. So thank you so much. So anyways, um we're gonna do a three hundred subs contest or three hundred and twenty seven subs contest. <laughs> um and what that is is we want to see your wallet. We're gonna call it show us your wallet. Show us your wallet. Um we wanna see you can talk about it um, but also show it because we want to see. We don't have to see the inside and see your license and all that kind of stuff, but just show us your wallet. Um, where you carry it, you carry it in your jacket, you carry it in your pocket, uh, front pocket, back pocket. Um, I think that's it. That's what we want to see, right? Yep, the basics. What, what, what style? If you how carry, fat is it? If you, if you carry a purse. <laughs> Do you suffer from hip joint dysplasia because mm -hmm. of your uh, big thick back, pallet, mm -hmm. back pocket wallet? My dad did. He... Um, when I was younger, he, I remember he used to have a, you know, the classic dad wallet, the big, thick, like three inches with all the receipts. Um, we, I can't say we were rich growing up, so it's not full of money, but just every card that you can imagine all in one place as a guy would want. Um, and he actually had, uh, back problems because when he would sit, he'd sit on his wallet. Um, so the doctor actually prescribed him to get rid of his wallet and he'd just carry his cards in his front pocket. So that's why... We came up with the Slim Card Carrier, <laughs> which this is mine. And this is mine. It's Tasha's. Very simple. Two yeah. pieces of leather. Thick, uh, a thicker piece in the middle for, to give it some spine and some stiffness, and then a thinner piece that's more flexible, wrapped around the outside. And um, you got your stuff pretty full. Yeah, you're I, going a little bit too dad on there. The website says that they'll carry eight cards, eight cards aside, four cards aside. I don't remember. It definitely over time though, you can you can start to cram quite a bit in there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in mine. This nice. license, firearms, library card, so I can shoot guns and read books. <laughs> 
Yeah, and the big change for me when I carried just started carrying this instead of the, the normal sort of bifold, um, is that I was keeping my front pocket. Mm -hmm. I never just because it's small enough and you know it's the size smaller than my phone really. Yeah. So. Um, and mine is yeah. the Veg Tan. It's oh man, how old is this? It's gonna be two years now. At least two years, and it's got like spots and green marks and I think I took this hunting once and it was when we went on a week-long hunting trip in the pouring rain wet. so this thing was solid <laughs> wet for seven days straight um, but it's 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 given it character it's kind of green on the bottom I don't know that's what I love about veg tan is it basically shows off all the nicks and bruises but like we've got our logo embossed in there <clears throat> um, yeah it's just a pretty simple but sturdy strong um, Slim card carrier, we call it, or wallet replacement. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love mine. I, I seriously, it's great. So we will pick. Uh, we'll do a random selection again. You will not be judged by your wallet. <laughs> It'll just be a random selection, and um, the winner will get one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, the way it works right now on the website. So you can see on mine, I've got Veg Tan spine. Let me take one of these sides out so you can see it a little bit better. But I've got a veg tan spine with an ox blood um, sides on it. And, um, and mine's veg tan. Only. Yeah. So as it stands right now, if you go on the website and look at the product, you can pick the spine color, the uh, sides color, and the thread color from a few options. We have uh, black, ox blood, and veg tan. Mm -hmm. So um, <clears throat> what we've uh, decided we're going to start doing as well, this will be up there shortly, is we'll have another product that won't be a custom color selection. It'll either be straight veg tan or black. Uh, but not black. just any black. Not just any black. It's more of a charcoal. Because if you look at my, I would yeah, call, I would call the right. Dublin black. That's not pure. The Dublin's black, and that's kind of a charcoal-y color. I don't know how that's going to show up, <clears throat> but that's... That would be my comparison. But what is that, Tash? Uh, that is a process known as vinegaroon. So you basically take, uh, this is a little sample of it here, looks like some nice murky sludge. It's basically vinegar and iron filings, which I take from the knife shop. And um, there's some little pieces in there, there's chunks of steel wool, there's all sorts of, anything, anything that'll rust, you can throw in there and you, it just sits. It's been, that one's been on the go for, I don't know, a couple months now. And so what happens is the, the vinegaroon, the oxide uh, in, in the vinegaroon reacts with the tannin that is in the uh, veg tan leather as part of the process. If you don't know, veg tan leather is basically made by marinating the leather in a bath of oak tannins, oak juice, oak bark juice. Oak bark juice. Um, yeah, so what happens here, we could do a little demo, is you just take some of this stuff and get your fingers wet and wipe it on there, it turns black. Yeah, so it's actually a like chemical instantly. reaction. That's so, not... Yeah, it's a instant chemical reaction. I'm really bad at Vanna whiting this. <laughs> so you can see it, but... Um, so the real, the real big benefit is that this color will not wipe off because it's not a dye. I'm gonna do an impromptu demo. Okay. This is one of Tasha's pipe stands. You Thank you. We weren't even planning this. Um, so the other thing about the vinegaroon is that what you do, the, the process with it, like when, with we did with this uh, this test belt, is that you assemble basically the whole piece. So with rivets and all, is the the vinegar will tarnish the the brass a little bit, but the the process is you basically take your product and dip it in. And that's it. Yeah, and then you follow that up with a bath in some uh, baking soda water. Yeah. And it will sort of nullify, uh, so it doesn't oh, keep like that. etching. Maybe we should do some half dippers. Some half dip. Uh, so we also for the pipe stand <clears throat> is that this this vinegaroon process that we're doing, which I just made a mess everywhere, <laughs> um, will be available. Yeah. So that's a new process. So we're gonna have that. Jesse showed you the belt there. That's not on the site yet, but will be. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we'll have some of that with the stands, and we're going to be offering that with these. And we're also going to do, um, so the veg tan, straight veg tan version and the vinegaroon version will be $5 less than the custom color option because it's, uh, you know, it's easier for us to do production runs of those than it is to yeah. do a custom one-off. So stay tuned for that. Those will be up there soon. Mm-hmm.
So, um, again, a recap. 300 subs contest. We didn't set a deadline, which I didn't mention before. Uh, the deadline is next week, next right. Wednesday, uh, April 8th at midnight. Um, Pacific so Standard Time. Pacific. Because we are on the daylight. West Coast. No. Pacific Standard Time. PST. Yeah. Or what? There's no daylight saving. <laughs> well, whatever. Right. Anyways, PST. Our time. Uh, not midnight, our time, time. Not whatever your time is, is, is fine. <clears throat> We're usually the last ones in North America. Mm -hmm. So you have more. So that, that would give you till 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> Let's not confuse it. Um, <laughs> so next Wednesday, uh, we want to do a quicker contest than our 100 subs. It was great. It was about a month. But now we're going to do a quick one for a week, so everybody get your responses in. We want to hear about your wallets. Yeah, and short and sweet. It doesn't have to be a big, long story. Just yeah. show us what, what what you carry and where you carry it. It's like your EDC boom, boom. for your money. Yep. Maybe. If you yep. have a lot of money. <laughs> I think that's all for today. It's probably 10 minutes longer than we wanted it to be. So <laughs> That's all right. Uh, oh, quick one, the Dagner Series 2, probably midweek to end of next week, but there is something special about the Series 2 that mm, we are getting. Yes. Something different than what uh, all the other Series 2 are like, so Can't tell stay you tuned. We'll tell you as soon as we have them. <laughs> we'll show you, even. Mm. Yes. All right. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Happy hump day.